Jacob Collier is a bit of a legend amongst musicians because of his excellent grasp of music theory and concepts such as microtonality. Put it in the middle, so I thought G half drop, I'll give it a try. Or negative harmony. One is approaching from the fourth side of the cyclopus and one is approaching from the fifth side of the cyclopus. But he's also a great performer and one of the things he does when he's performing is he turns his audience into a choir. A couple of months ago, Jacob posted a video at Brixton Academy of him doing this with his live audience. And I'm in a little bit of a unique position here because I was actually in that audience. So today I thought I would relive it and react to Jacob's video of him turning his audience into a choir. So let's get into it. Now Jacob does tend to do three part harmonies, although I know he has done four before. And the notes are G, D, and B. And that makes something called a triad, which is just a standard chord. And although Jacob has perfect pitch, so he'll be able to hear the notes automatically, there is some method as to how he actually does this. The theory is that with any triad, if you move any of the notes by one step, then you're just making a new triad or a new variation of a triad that isn't that dissonant. It also plays on the idea that even if you are a non-musician, in Western music, our expectation is to hear a major scale. So as soon as he expects those three notes, whether you know anything about music or not, you hear a G major chord and therefore your expectation is these notes, which is a G major scale. So if he says, sing this note, and then says, go down one, you're gonna automatically sing an F sharp because you're expecting a normal major scale. So the note is changing there is the top one, which is a B. And if you change it to a C and back down again, you get something called a suspension, which is like a small tension. And then it resolves that tension. If I was just playing a normal G major chord like this, it'd be the middle note going up and down. Yeah, so the interesting thing here is it, that top note goes down a note and then he drops the middle note to form just a normal D major chord. And because he's just taken those two notes up again, now you get that G major chord again. It's gone down again, which gives you E minor 7. And this is what I was saying. You can change any one of the notes by a step and you just form a new chord without it ever really sounding too dissonant. That's a C major chord. And there he's playing between the bottom two notes and because he was on a C major chord, it's going to another form of G major chord and back to a C again over and over again. Now he's just going up by a step. 
by taking the top note up and then the other two just through the scale to form all of these chords. It was at this point when we were doing this that I was really, ah, I was really struggling. And at the very peak of this scale that he's just taken us up, he actually finishes on another G major chord, which because we're in a G major scale, that's what we're expecting. And that's why it sounds so euphoric. There he's taking a seventh chord and resolving it to just a C major chord. It sounds so settled and nice. We've actually now ended up back where we started, which is that G major chord and going upwards. So here he has an F sharp, a D and an A being played. So if he takes the outside notes and goes like that, the A will go down to a G and the F sharp will go up to a G and you'll get this nice consonant G chord, which is quite a cool effect from getting them to go opposite directions. I mean, as I said, it was an amazing experience. He had Stormzy there and he had Mahalia there. And he is an energetic and great performer. If you ever get a chance to go and see Jacob Collier, I would definitely recommend. Another very accomplished musician is someone called Ethan Bortnick. And in this video, I react to his song. So if you're interested in that, head on through and I will see you there.